So this is our epic trencher, which is using the hanger stake, which is a great versatile bit of stake that is quite unusual. You only get one per cow, and it uh, basically hangs on the inside of the ribs. And um, generally speaking, people throw it away, but it's absolutely delicious. And what we're gonna do is just gonna butterfly open because it just cooks it a bit quicker. The thing about hanger steak is that it's uh, not only is it really cheap and full of flavor, but you have to cook it right because if you cook it too much and you cut it wrong, it's gonna be really tough and chewy. So there's a few things you need to follow. I don't know if you can see, but there's a grain running through the meat. It's very important that when you cut it, that you shorten the grain. So this is basically uh, shortening the protein strands, which make it much more tender and juicy. But once you've got that bit right, it's very easy. All you need is a really hot pan and plenty of salt and pepper. So just season the outside nicely, get a bit of pepper. Whenever you're cooking like steak or you know something that's quickly cooked, you always want the pan to be roasting hot. You want to hear that real shizzle, sizzle even. Just whack the heat up. And I'm just gonna wait until this is smoking. Straight in with the steak. That's the sound we want to hear. And I just leave it for a couple of minutes. You want to get as much caramelization on as possible. So I'm just gonna finish it with a knob of butter. This just gives the steak a nice shine, enriches it slightly, makes it nice and gorgeous looking. Steak's done, get it out, and just rest it on top of your trench like that. And then just pour all those lovely juices over the top. And that's just gonna, just gonna rest that for about five minutes. What that does is the meat relaxes because it's, you know, it's going to be really tense. As it relaxes, it's going to get nice and soft, but really tender. And all those lovely juices that come out are going to seep into our trencher plate and make it delicious. So I've got some mushrooms here. I've got some uh, wild chanterelles and then some chestnuts. But you can use really whatever you want. I just want to chop them. They don't have to be too neat, quite rough. These are rustic food. And we're going to cook them in the dirty pan. This might seem a bit shocking, but there's going to be loads of lovely steak juices in there, and we don't want to miss any of them. Right, that's all chopped enough. Pop this back on the heat. We want to go on a slightly more gentle flame because we're not going to, you know, we're not trying to fry it. We're just going to get some nice colour, and they don't want to burn. So, knob of butter. Shizzle that around a little bit. and then pop your mushrooms in. So we're gonna make a nice little salad to go with our uh, trencher. So I've got some rocket and watercress, nice and peppery. For a bit of color, I'm just gonna put in a little sliced up radish, adds a bit of pepperiness and it looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Get it chopped through. So our mushrooms have been cooking and they're looking lovely. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna finish them with a splash of sherry vinegar. It's gonna form like a dressing, it's gonna cut through the richness, and it's just nice. Just a little slug. You could use balsamic or a red wine one, but sherry's just nice because it's kind of, it's got the kind of, uh, got a lovely flavor. It's kind of quite acidic, not too sweet. It just works really well. Boost that around. into a bowl. And those mushrooms have been cooking that lovely steaky meaty juices so they're packed full of flavour. Get all the juice out. Now we're going to put the salad in and what this is going to do is the heat of the mushrooms is slightly going to wilt the salad leaves. Gorgeous. A little pinch of salt just because it's rude not to. Now we're ready to slice up our hanger. So our hanger's been resting for about five minutes. I'm gonna take that off. That's delicious. You can see all those meaty juices soaked into that bread. Well, that is gonna be fantastic. So what we need to do now, and this is the important part, is we need to slice it against the grain. So the grain's going this way. So we're just gonna slice it really thinly against it. And you can see that it's nice and pink. Really juicy and lovely and moist. Now what we need to do is 
build our trencher. Good. Oh, it's making me hungry. A bit more. Quite a steak sandwich. 